Was this game just karma for Jadavion Clowney accidentally injuring Carson Wentz back in the wild card round? I think this is the reason why he got like a penalty, personal foul, then I think an offside. So this is just tough football for the freaking Seahawks. That was just Wilson doing what we thought he was going to do. Running for his life. Till he can somehow find DK Metcalf for a couple of receptions down the red zone. Then hit one over to just a few of his tight ends. Then he'll hit up fucking Tyler Lockett for a touchdown. He went for 136 and he came off some big deep threat receptions. DK Metcalf was used as a red zone threat even though he should be. And it came off just longer uh, possessions from the Green Bay Packers. So, yeah. Rough to see the Packers come out of uh, the Seahawks come out of a position like this when they were getting snuffed out at least 28, 120 something points earlier in the game. And it came off uh, poor positioning from the Seahawks and just Aaron Rodgers just playing like a complete god on the field. So, yeah. There was a few incidents, though, over Aaron. Aaron Jones getting his head blumped up by Adam Lizard, Alan Lizard, over a carry. Still didn't, uh, everything played a factor, but there was a lot of injuries for Packers players over the game. And I always had to hear this song. Dun, 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 dun. That shit gets annoying. I know they wouldn't have gently go, head up to the commercial, but that was boring. Devontae Adams played the complete god with two touchdown receptions over the red zone. One speed option playoff, Russell Wilson. I mean, what? no, it's not a, a speed option play, but he kept rushing for his life for third downs, where he completely got sacked. Jimmy Graham got a big gain over for, like, a 40-something, for, like, a 30-something yarder to keep the Packers alive. That was just crazy. That was just a cr just crazy offensive drive and came up Blake Tinez. Just... Zadarius Smith and Preston Smith playing tremendously well and getting sacks on Russell Wilson's part. And Kenny Clark just continue just scrambling over the pocket when the pa when the blocking continued to like fail. Again, where we knew that was gonna play a factor for Russell Wilson. Carrying the football was a complete wreck. Didn't go anywhere. It felt like the Packers just knew how to shut them down because they were so familiar with the Seahawks. So, yeah. Rough one. Wilson was leading the rusher. Next over to Marshawn Lynch. That wasn't playing a factor. Travis Homer. David Moore. That's a receiver. No shot. Penny. No Carson. Just Tyler Lockett or DK Mescav. There, there was a bit of Jacob Hollister. That was notable for getting a yard short in our game in week 17. But it didn't do that crap here. Because all he was notable for was whenever Wilson runs, he runs over to the corner and he catches the football at times. Got a few drops over there by Travis Homer, I think. Tyler Lockett was just catching as many footballs as he can to keep the team alive. This was just a rough game to watch. Uh, for the offensive side of the football or the Seahawks defensive uh, plays. They got a few good plays, especially Shaquille, Sha Shaquille Griffin and Shaquem Griffin came off for a huge combo stop for the for Aaron Rodgers. And that was literally my favorite highlight. Jadavion Clowney got a few plays and uh, got a few tackles up from the gut, but really didn't stop Aaron Rodgers and... Trey Flowers was just there, it feels like. This just felt like a really poor defense. I felt like nobody was playing a factor other than Shaquem Griffin and Bobby Wagner, and they just looked like they were just like, desperate to just stop Aaron Rodgers. They weren't doing anything to ball hawk anything. So, uh, yeah, it just came into a rough game. We'll be seeing the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship. And, wow. It's been a while since I got to say that. They haven't been in the NFC Championship since 2016 against the Atlanta Falcons, where they got snuffed by Matty Ice. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, just a choke. <clears throat> just a choke. Ah. But this came into a great 
stop. The off the defense played a huge factor. Pressured Wilson when it counts. Stop the rushing. Because you know, like, sometimes it's good whenever your quarterback gets a couple of runs, but always you know your offense is bad when you're the leading rusher as a quarterback. That's never going to play a factor. It sucks to say, but it does. Look what happened with Lamar Jackson. Pressure over his life. Couldn't chuck it anywhere, and he threw two picks. Wilson didn't throw an <clears throat> interception, but he was the leading rusher. Got sacked at least four times. Uh, no, no, like five times. And was completely uh, muffled around the water, even a few uh, fumbles. So this was a poor performance by the Seahawks. They end 23-28 to against the Packers. And the Seahawks are going to be going home again, even though it'd be night. It would be kind of rough if we played off against a familiar team, but I think it will be the same result as it was back in 2017. So that's it coming from me. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll have my championship prediction. I'll have my championship uh, weekend predictions coming out later this week. But uh yeah, big win over for the Packers. I just feel I just feel like Aaron Jones played wonderfully down the gut. De Devontae Adams got a tremendous game. But I think the Packers would be a bit more dangerous if they had something more than just Jones, Adams, and Graham. Allison plays well. I don't think Jamal Williams isn't that interesting. And Scandling should be getting more of the football. They need everybody on deck, especially for a conference championship game, and I feel like that's some of the team's problems. And better play calling. But thanks, I haven't seen much off the Packers head coach, and they don't seem to be making any rookie mistakes, other than, like, <clears throat> other teams for, <clears throat> oh, God, the Bills. Ooh, the Texans. It's rough to see. It's going to be uh, maybe some interesting conference championship games come next weekend. So. This is me, signing out, DST Show's over, and hopefully you're ready for the conference championship predictions coming later this week. So thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and join the TST Nation.